Hello and welcome to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. Morning guys. So we're in um, Harwich, Harwich and Essex again. It's the uh, national lockdown, January. What date are we today, Devin? 15th? Yes. Yeah. 15th, 15th of January. January. Um, so we're allowed out for our exercise. So yeah, we're in Harwich. Um, you can probably see Stone Pier over in the distance there. That's where we fished uh, a couple of weeks back and that video is on YouTube already. So you can see how we got on on that one. Um, yeah, just panning round. You've got the St Nicholas's Church, the Harwich and, Ta uh, Harwich and Town Sailing Club, Harwich Haven Authority there as well. We initially did set up just alongside the uh, breakwater there, uh, Harwich Haven Authority, that's their uh, pier. They've got their boats just the other side there that they go out and patrol uh, the whole of Harwich, um, all the shipping, etc. Yeah, so we did set up over on there, but um, unfortunately we got a bit sort of uh, swamped by a few boats that are moored over there. So we've moved now and we've got quite a good pull on the tide actually. Uh, I'll just see the rods. Got a nice bend on them. Nice tight lines. So the plan for today is um, there's a sound bank that runs out here. Um, we have launched our boat here quite a few times, so we've sort of come down at low tide, sussed it all out, and we know how this sort of sits around here. Um, hopefully, you never know, there might be something sort of kicking around with a bait coming in and out of the um, estuary. It runs up to the River Orwell, and then round the corner to the River Stour. Um, it's quite a good, strong tide when it gets going. So we're hoping, sort of being on the sandbank a bit more, we might sort of pick something up there. So that's the idea of... Uh, also, the other thing as well, we, we've never fished here before. We have to say, we've, we've launched a boat. We've um, been here an awful lot. We know a lot about this area, but I say it's the first time I'm actually fishing here. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. But we're fishing with um, squid, lug, frozen lug that we we had from last time and um, we've got a bit of herring as well so give them a try and see what see what's uh it was about so uh this was a uh, last minute decision to come down here to fish today so uh we literally just grabbed out the bait that we had in the freezer so um from our last fishing trip out on the boat Got some nice blow lug there that was frozen. I was gonna say they're still good, aren't they? Yeah, they're solid. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them worms whatsoever. Not um, many there, but we'll. Yeah, yeah we've there's a few. Got a few for today. Some frozen sprats and some squid that we froze, and uh, we're just just trying to put it in a bucket at a minute, just to try and defrost it, because uh, normally, normally we'd have got them out last night, wouldn't we? Yeah, that's right. Let them, let them uh, defrost a bit, but just decided about ten minutes ago we've got to go fishing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we've got a few of them defrosting and um, yeah, I, I might show you how to bait one up on a hook again. Might might go for a uh, sprat cocktail this time. I was going to say, this, we haven't really used many we sprats, used sprats. Have, actually have we? No, not no. many. I, I think I used one on the boat, didn't we, a couple of weeks back. But yeah, yeah um, I might do a sprat and squid yeah, or something like that. Yeah, try something a bit different, can't we? So Give it a go. This is you want to hold your finger on there as you're bringing your rod back, it just stops that line from going too fast. Like that. See, if you let it all go, it's all just going to spool out and just going to make a massive, great big bird's nest. So, just hold your finger on there, keep it nice and tight. And when you put your rod in your rest, you want to leave it for about, about till now good 10 seconds or something like that and then just tighten up your rod there you go you can see it there get nice and tight and that's perfect that's a decent setup then and that's just to let the the weight sort of sink in that's isn't it right, and settle yeah, yeah. Settle in. yeah. you can see the tide's doing its thing there yeah and then you might just have to tighten it up again in about a minute or so just give it a re-tighten
fair bit of seaweed here, but that's that sprat. It got taken by the fish. That's it, it's been, been had a go at, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And there's the other bait there. Your bait will often slide down your hook. So uh, one thing that I like to do is get me bait elastic. Man, that side. Get me bait elastic and whip that onto the hook, and that slowly prevents it from uh, coming down your hook link. Just like that, and that'll stop it. Well, it won't stop it, but it will slowly prevent it from coming down to your hook length and and. Uh, flapping down like that so you don't want it sitting that low on the hook do you no yeah you want it sort of you, you want it nice well and proud and you hook nice and proud i've got a 6 o hook on there so uh bigger bigger baits bigger hooks equals bigger fish if we can catch any <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> i'll uh cast this one out for you here I'll show you how to cast because uh, I mean this is for more for the beginners and not not the uh, experts. I'm just going to show you how to cast. So you got your reel here. Get your finger just like that, and you see that seat there. That's where I like to go. I mean it's not how everybody does it. It's just like how are you how how I like to do it. This is called your bail arm. Flick that over like that, and then you 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 set. So, so also have your have a bit of line sort of coming down yeah, there from a the fair distance, a bit of line. Yeah, probably to, to about your rod, uh, to about your reel setup. So yeah, so I'll flick it out a couple of times and release at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm just going to flip the finger and then let let the finger go like that. Put your bail arm on and tighten it up a bit. So we're using um, 12 foot rods, aren't we? 12 foot, yeah. Yeah, these are 12 foot. You can get all different sizes. I mean, they come in various lengths. You know, even the reels, you can get multipliers, fixed ball reels. You know, there's, there's so much stuff out there. But if you're just a beginner, I mean, We've picked these up actually on, they go outdoors they or Amazon. Outdoors, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're 20 a, quid, I think. Yeah, 20 pounds. And they're just a beach caster. Max. Yeah. You, you caster don't need max. nothing expensive. No. And the Any, same with the reels as well. They're just a sort of a 20, 30 pound reel. Cheap, yeah, silk, silk big boards they are. Yeah, you don't need nothing, like Dylan says, you don't need nothing exp too expensive. I mean, it's just more a case of, you know, um, if you, out here, yeah, and the other thing as well is if you enjoy doing it over the years, you can. We have got some expensive rods at home, yeah, but um, you know, we to, to be fair, we've sort of started using these more now, haven't yeah, we? Really, because they, yeah. they get banged around a lot, they get you know scratched up. Um, the other thing as well is if you're just gonna, if you're only starting off, you can set yourself up for a you know, not not too too much cost, really, and um. Yeah, you can get fishing for relatively cheap, can't you? You, you can, yeah. You can, you can get out there and get started. And the other thing as well is if you don't enjoy it, you know, they're easy to sell, aren't they? Whereas if you buy an expensive gear, you might you might end up losing a lot more money on them. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we've used. That's what we use. And um, even the tripods that we've, you know, that the, the rods go on. I mean, they're, I think we got a couple of them on £15 on eBay, didn't we? Or yeah, you, you know? can buy stuff second-hand as well. Yeah, that's the other that's, thing, isn't it? Yeah, it, definitely. You don't need to buy brand new. You know, you can just buy second-hand stuff. And to be fair, a lot of it is, you know, good good, good quality stuff. You know? Yeah, especially the second-hand stuff, because uh, yeah. you can buy a decent rod second-hand and it's still, still just as good. Yeah, definitely. So come out, give it a try. It's, uh, it's great fun. I mean, we haven't caught nothing today. Not even had a bite really have we i mean you've no. had that that sprat that's been a bit sort of gnarled up but you know that could have, yeah could have been anything really with that but, but anyway oh, hang on a sec oh, you've got a bit of a knock on there there's a bit of a knock on there live 
That was definitely a fish bite, that. Was it which one was it, Dylan? This this inner rod. Oh yeah. The one that was definitely to just knocked there. Well, it's going up and down nicely, aren't they? That tide's yeah. got a good pull on it. It definitely had a knock there. Got something floating in the sea down there. It's <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit of, of driftwood. Yeah, yeah, a bit of driftwood or a bit of cardboard. That's probably going to hit our lines and we'll yeah, think we've caught something up. then, wouldn't we? But yeah. I'm just going to tighten that a bit because that's sort of gone slack. So I'm just going to tighten that one up a little bit, yeah. Let's see what happens. They might have. Sometimes the fish will come, they'll pick the bait up. And, and they'll, they'll just sit, it, yeah, they? or they'll drop it, or they'll sit with it, won't they? Yeah, sit Without there, sort of going off too quick, they'll, uh, see, just by tightening that line, rather than sort of striking it on the first go. Yeah, just, always just, wait for that second Yeah, bite. just wait a little bit, unless it's just rattling away, then you can just sort of, you know, it's pretty much hooked itself if it rattles away like that, but, yeah. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, I can see that now. I might go for that. Yeah, um, that's that going, must, yeah, that's going. There, but... Okay. With smaller fish like this, you don't need to strike into it. Might be safe on there. Well, that, bit, is, that bit of wood's small. just gone by again, isn't it? So, yeah. If there is something on here, it's very small, but. That'd be welcome, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's so blank. Yeah. No, not this time. It. Yeah. Must have missed it. Yeah, something looks like it's definitely had a. Yeah, it's definitely had a bite of that though. So, oh well, maybe next time. Another great thing when you're fishing is this suit. I think I got this off of Amazon. It's called a Fishing Extreme by Elka. It's a great waterproof suit. Really is good. I mean, when I'm kneeling down, you can see the sand and that. When I'm kneeling down on the sand or whatever, it just don't get you underneath. Uh, wet basically so another great thing i mean i can use this on the boat uh, when i'm especially in the summer hauling up lobster pots or crab pots or anything beach fishing the lot any sort of fishing really keep you nice and dry yeah you've got elasticated straps so it's nice and comfortable um i have just put a couple of cable ties around there if you can see that just to keep them nice and warm you on around here. Clips, didn't you? That's what yeah, you need, yeah, need something like, like that. that. A quick on. They're quite, clip, they're quite flared at the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, they are. But very, very waterproof, very durable, and uh, especially in the summer and that, when you don't want to be wearing thick, bulky gear, put something like this on. Perfect. It works for me. It'll probably work for you too. So as you can see, that's um, Felix Stow dead opposite from where we're standing on Harwich Beach. You got the big shipping containers. All the big cranes in the background. Goes right up to uh, Landguard Point. Um, so it's quite a busy, busy shipping area, really. There's a tugboat there, just just heading off out. Yeah, it's quite quite a busy place, but it's not that far, really, when you look at it. It's from here to the Felix Stowis. But it's a very, very fast running tide because it, it feeds both the estuaries of the River Orwell and the River Stour. So out here it can get extremely chopping, very fast running water as well. So you've got to be very careful. But this is the sort of place in the summer we've come down with our dinghy and we'll just sit out in this cluster of boats out here. These little fishing boats, we'll sit out there on our dinghy and have a little fish. Um, and we have obviously come down here with real therapy as well and headed up the rivers and things. So it's a good place to come. It is a can get some good fish here some sometimes. Another tip for you is uh, when you've got your rods on the rod holders, good tip is, is to set your drag. That's most important that. So if you get a big fish, I mean we've had it, and uh, I've seen other people that have had it, they, the big fish comes on, grabs out of the line, tripod goes straight over, rod goes into the water. It's not a good situation so keep that uh get that drag set right uh and then if a big big uh, big fish screams off of it it ain't gonna take your whole set up in the water especially if you've got an expensive rod trust me you don't want that going in the water another little handy tip there for you another great tip 
you can find a uh, rock like this one you can often find them along the beach i mean about three minutes of me uh foraging i found this one got a hole going straight through it right the idea with this is is it's basically a lead weight how strong it is put a bit of mono through give yourself plenty tie a simple overhand knot nice and tight you've created a loop and that there can go straight on instead of your weight we often use this when we're uh, wreck fishing or fishing close to wreck because if you lose this hey ho who cares it's a stone it goes back into the ocean again so uh yeah just another great tip for you there bit of mono clip it onto your weight i mean you ain't got no grip of weights or nothing but if you're running a uh tide like it is today that's not even choppy perfect something like that chuck it straight out there saves on your lead weights if you're fishing in uh rocky conditions or anything like that yeah just another another idea for you So we've still got a good sort of three hours really before high tide um so it's just lovely isn't it yeah, really nice. really nice so yeah it's really peaceful but I yeah That's talk about peaceful being in the lockdown as well at the moment obviously we're allowed out for our exercise and we're you know the angling trust have said that we're allowed to come out and do that so this is our exercise for the day um i mean there's just no one around it's lovely normally this beach and we've a lot of times we've sort of decided not to come here because there's so many i mean you know obviously there's kids here it's what that's what the beaches are for but when you're fishing and you've got the dogs running around and all the rest of it and you've got your bait you're just worried about dogs and hooks and kids and you know it, it can get a little bit tedious but we've literally seen what two or three people today haven't yeah, we so far yeah. and I mean, yeah okay we haven't been here that long but they've, they've just been dog walkers right up on the top part of the beach it's been really really good so good choice to come today really i think it'd just be nice if we can top it off and catch something but As Dylan said, we've just moved, so um, then that blue boat in the background there, I don't think you can quite see that, but that sort of got in my way a bit and we were a bit restricted there, weren't we? Yeah. But just got another little tip for you as well. Um, obviously, if you're standing here and it's freezing cold and the wind's really coming in from the from the sea, what you can do is, rather than having your rod rest as it is here like this, and you're facing out that way, or you're looking there and you're, you're getting that wind in your face, just turn your tripod. Like that. Then you can have your back to the sea, and we can still see if one of them gets a knock. Just another little tip for you. you know, um, fishing's, you know, you want to enjoy yourself. You want to have, a, you want to have fun. You know, you don't want to be freezing cold and, and you know, really against the elements. Get your back to the wind. Don't worry. You know, get your hood up. Keep warm. You know enjoy it that's the most, uh, most important thing about it really. but another little tip for you anyway just sort of, you know and if again if the wind's blowing from whatever direction you can you know turn yourself if it's in your face and it's really uncomfortable it's, you know going. going 
Whoop, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. But that, yeah. Keep an eye on your rod rest as well, by the way. <laughs> Another good tip. But I'm quite comfortable today, so I'm going to just leave my lantern. <laughs> Another thing as well is this, if it's um, really windy, you know, don't have your rod rest too too high. Just just bring the, the back end down a bit. Slow it down. And dig, dig these in the sand as well. Dig the legs right in. You know, keep it keep it low profile, so to speak, and then that way you're um, hopefully you won't lose it like we have a few times. Yeah, <laughs> ours have gone that. over, yeah, you know, many times. So yeah, just another little tip for you, anyway. So the idea of coming here today was basically to um, you know keep away from people. The idea of all this COVID is to you know distance yourselves with everybody else. Um, we've been really lucky today. There's been not not that many people down here. Um, we we're going to fish off of. Apney Pier or we thought we might fish off the Stone Pier like we did before um, but we thought well there might be people walking up and down them and we just wasn't too sure really so yeah we this is where we've come out unfortunately it hasn't been a, a very good um, session so far we might catch something I don't really know but we haven't really had any decent bites really we had, had that one earlier but there's not really been much about but you know it's nice to get out get a bit of fresh air um, come and enjoy ourselves as well. This is what it's all about. We love it. So, but yeah, it's um, it's been a lovely, calm day. Very nice, calm day. But and it's the temperature they said was around about four degrees. Um, it felt quite warm earlier on when we got here, but it is starting to chill up a bit now. It's starting to get a little bit nippy. But I haven't yet put me uh, IMAX suit on yet or me top, but. That might come a little bit later we'll see how long we, we stay here for but hi guys well uh, we've come to the end of our session now I think we've pretty much had enough we haven't even had one bite really have we? well we um, had, you had that bite earlier didn't you but yeah, we haven't it. caught absolutely nothing i mean normally on a normal day we'd have uh, we'd have moved a long time ago but due to the current situation and we didn't want to be anywhere where there's going to be sort of like heavily populated with people so we just sort of bit the bullet really and just stayed here didn't we and yeah you know but yeah unfortunately it hasn't really proved uh, popular but never mind it's still getting out of the house still getting out in doing a bit of fishing and we give you some good tips there as well yeah there's a few extra tips there for you so yeah. we'll um we'll see you on our next video um hopefully it won't be too long till we can get out and about again and hopefully get on the boat really yeah. that's what we really want to do don't we get on the boat and Boat's a big one, yeah. yeah so um in the meantime stay safe as always take care don't forget to like and subscribe always and uh oh and follow our uh facebook page yes we've got a new facebook new page facebook as well page. real therapy fishing it's called real oh, there's, there'll be a link down in the description okay like that. so as i said take care and see we'll see you, you next time, time. well that's all he's catching today anyway <laughs> <laughs> big old bit of seaweed yeah <laughs> Bet you thought you had one then, didn't you, Dylan? No. <laughs> There's nothing worse, is there, than dragging in a big old lump of seaweed and you think you've got a fish on there. <laughs>